Hello, today I will show you how to install Jericho and use it for navigation in Star Citizen. So let's switch over to our virtual machine where we can simulate a fresh newly installed PC. So open your browser and browse to starmap.space. Head over to the download section and grab the newest version from Jericho. Just extract the zip file to any folder you want. You don't have to install it or associate a path. It directly runs from there. But before we can run it, we have to install some pre-requests. In this subfolder, we have some instructions that is telling you exactly what I do in this video. So first of all, install PowerShell v7 which is mandatory for Jericho, otherwise it wouldn't run. If you don't want to alter the default behavior of your system, you can add a context menu that runs PowerShell v7. And next, change in the subfolder fonts and install both fonts. So, it gets, so the values get properly displayed. Now we have one least thing to do. Right click on Jericho, select properties and I recommend that you um, change the default behavior of PowerShell files so you can directly double click the file to run it. So click here on change, other apps, uh, search app on your PC. Now um, head into the PowerShell folder 7 and select the PVH pvsh.exe and as you see the icon turns black and Project Jericho now runs default with PowerShell v7. On Windows 11 we have to do some additional steps. First of all run PowerShell 7. I don't have this option here but if you see it um, run it as administrator and now enter the command set execution policy unrestricted to allow PowerShell scripts that are not create or that are not from your PC. So you have downloaded them. Uh, I will have to do in my virtual machine for some security reasons this also in V5. You don't have to do on Windows on a default Windows 10 machine just for demonstration. You select yes to all. And last step we have to do on Windows 11 is if you click on properties or right click properties, you see in the bottom below here is a checkbox to explicitly allow um, this file to run on your PC. And yeah, it's, it's a Microsoft security thing and we have to do this once for each PowerShell file we have here in this folder. It's annoying, but it's the only way uh, to run my tool on Windows 11 these days. I haven't found a way to automate this for you. So also head into the functions folder and please do this for each file you can see here. Let me quickly iterate through each of these file. As I said, this is not necessary for Windows 10. Only Windows 11 users sometimes have to do it. Not all have. I have some PCs tested where I didn't have to do this. So I'm not sure on which operating systems this is a limiting factor. Don't need this. But no, Windows settings. Ah, let's do it too. Okay, now we're done. And if we open it again, the checkbox is gone. 
it's a one-time thing. And now we can run the file either by double clicking or if you choose to not associate it, you click right on Jericho and here you have an option. This is a sandbox issue. If you um, run with PowerShell V7, so on your client, he reads the text properly written. I use double click and as you see, Jericho starts. Please wait a second and don't click until the in-game HUD, uh, this here on the right, has been cast on screen. This is necessary to draw it above Star Citizen window so you can actually see this HUD on top of the game. The game has to run in borderless mode to see this. If you run in full screen mode, this is not working. And if you don't need the overlay, you can um, disable it or uh, if you have another updater you can disable it in the settings file but um, i will explain this um, dedicated in another video so that's all to get it started and watch my other videos to get into Yericho and navigation in star citizen thanks and see you soon